Ornithologist Boris Gubin has been studying the birds for many years now, but he didn't like them at first. McQueen's bustard seemed to him as a small gray and plain bird. But over the years, he learned to love the object of his numerous scientific works. As a child, he picked up all living creatures. He loved fishing. The family lived in the Russian city of Rupinsk. After the war, there were a lot of good teachers. We gained very good knowledge. After school, I went to the biology department at the University of Saratov. And after two training courses, I went to the Department of Zoology. I first was offered to study mammals. We had a professor, ecologist, Nina Larina. She studied the ecology of rodents. I didn't like that and asked her if I could study birds. For example, Lydia Alexeyevna, she travels frequently in the field. Can I do that too? She said, please, no problem. Boris was left in the department as an assistant, but he was eager to go to nature and he was offered a place in the Aksuzhabagla nature reserve in southern Kazakhstan. He and his wife settled in the village of Nova Nikolaevka and worked there for three years in the reserve, watching the migration of birds. In 1973, the family moved to the city of Almaty. I love my profession because I always like to be in the field. I do not like sitting at home. I am not a couch potato. I have to walk to watch. Absolutely everything is interesting to me. But because I have topical birds, of course, I had to study them more. I have defended my thesis in 1980s in Moscow. I got my PhD in biological sciences. And just at that time, a laboratory for the study of the red species was opened. A document was signed on the establishment of the Red Book of Kazakhstan. More than three decades, ornithologist Boris Gubin works in deserts. He studies the Mac Queen's Buster. The bird was totally unknown. Not many things were written on it. More than half of what was untrue, basically stories, but not facts. And I had to start from scratch. For two years, I traveled to the desert looking for it and its behavior. I wanted to write about specifics, but I just did not see it. Then I ran a questionnaire. I distributed to all natural security organizations. I received information. I analyzed it. And I got that this bird lives in the Kizilkum desert, beneath the mountains of Karatau. In 1984, I went there. I saw it. I did not like it. Well, just a bird, not very bright and interesting. Employees of the Institute of Zoology of the Kazakh Academy of Sciences for a long time worked in the Kizilkum desert. Ornithologists recorded every step of the McQueen's Bustard. Field diaries became more systematized. Today, Boris Gubin is the author of numerous scientific papers on this bird. Bird is interesting because it inhabits the desert areas. It lives in very difficult conditions, but in the winter it migrates. It is a migratory bird, and it flies south through Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Iran, Afghanistan, and comes to India. The second part of the population, which is in the Aral Sea and Caspian Sea, it flies to Saudi Arabia, comes to Syria and the United Arab Emirates. Since I have more or less began to write articles about this bird in 1993, I was invited as an expert to Saudi Arabia. They have little bread birds, and it was necessary to produce them. So Boris Gubin started to advise and train professionals from other countries. Captive breeding of Mac Queen's Bustard was established in the United Arab Emirates and Kazakhstan, where about 70% of the world population of these birds inhabit. Within five years we have collected bird stock. Our expedition found its eggs, picked it up, we put it immediately to incubator. The chicks were grown and sent by airplanes. And we sent planes here in Siena, in the nursery. In the first year we got 170, and then we got 4,000. Bird nursery, its capacity is 4,000. But because they have decided not to create it anywhere else and focus on Kazakhstan, they decided to increase its capacity for up to 15,000. When the birds reach maturity, ornithologists send them to habitats, and the task of Boris Gubin is preservation of the species. <laughs>